attack this hand. This is such bait. I mean, I got all spells I can play, but I need... Uh, I need a forest. I should have mulligan this. I got greedy, I think. I'm like, I'll draw it. I do draw it. Ugh. Jeez. But now what do I do? I'm not swinging with Goblin. Battlecry Goblin. I'm supposed to improvise weaponry? No. I just play Goblin Morningstar past the turn. Swing for two, maybe blocks. I really wanted to improvise weaponry to... You know, have the cell sword trigger here. <clears throat> Next turn. Okay. Well. Swing for two. Swing for three. Solid play. Looks like the mirror match to me, except he's more control. Swing three, four, five. See, I swing both here because if he blocks, then we can improvise weaponry and get a treasure. Definitely dying there. Yeah. 14. That's no way, bueno. though. Hey. Alright, well, I'm gonna play a 4 1. Uh, don't play that first. Attack first. So it wasn't attacking. Uh. Yeah, you could have attacked first because then he blocks and then you improvise weaponry. It's a lot better. <laughs> now. Now it's no good. Now he swings for five. Or doesn't because he's scared of something. What? I have no idea. I would have swung five so hard there. I guess, let's see. He swings back for. Two, four, six, seven. Block the two, three for the two, three. Take five. Gain a life. I mean, I don't know what's in his hand, but. I guess he's thinking. He can't attack. I mean, I can swing all here. Why didn't you swing all? Put it on that, yeah, make it a 3-3. Three, three. Man, I must have been really tired because I'm making some plays I really don't agree with. It's just drawing lands though, so that's good. Yeah, swing all. We'll keep the Bowgrai Gobbling it back. Gain of life. I don't mind swinging all here. Takes it. And I amplify weapon. I guess. Guess this is good. Okay. I think he just drew lands. That's why I won that game, honestly. And he, he played really weird. Yeah, this is a solid hand. I enjoy this hand. 
Much better than the last hand. That last hand was risky. Did he mulligan? I can never tell. Pretty sure he does. Got Brett Favre over there. Doesn't he look like Brett Favre? Or am I crazy? I think he does. No? Alright, I'm crazy. Get in there, Null Hunter. You're hunting some Nulls. I got two in my deck. So he could find some. Yeah, I gotta swing first. Sylvan Shepard getting in there now. Yeah, that Ranger is just doing nothing for me. I really don't like it. Ooh. Uh, swing with the Shepard. If he blocks, you improvise weaponry here. Blocks? Yeah, okay. Improvise weaponry. Get in there. And then play your hunter. Swing for six. This is the game where I didn't need to swing with my null hunters, I think. Yeah. Because now I got a three, four. Yeah, I definitely don't agree now. Okay, so the... Uh, the idea here is, swing all, and then I have a 3-3. Three, three. Then I swing again, and I have a 4-4, four, four, right? It doesn't work out that way. And he takes five, yes. But... I was thinking, oh, well, then the 4-1 will block the 3-4. But what if he has removal for the... 4-1? Now what do you do? You're a stalemate because the one one will block the four one. This is why I didn't like it because it's like okay, you make a one one. Now I can't attack. Awkward. There's no attack here. You play your armory vendor and then pass the turn. And be sad. Very, very sad. Okay, I finally play it. It was literally the next second after I paused the video. <laughs> I wonder what he's splashing red for. Rub some good. I bet it's the 4 4 flying haste. Whew. That's going to get real good in two turns. That hand. He just keeps venturing. Now he has a 4-5. That's pretty good. Yeah, you play your mountain or your forest too, so you can pump in response. I'm not going to, I never do. I always hold it. No attack still. Play it. Ah, didn't play it. Mm. Now you can get dragon fired. Ooh, that hurts. Heck, even just blocking the 3-3. Three, three. Which is, he's not gonna swing that, but you never know. Okay, okay. Turned out to be okay. But, even still, you, you play your forest there. It's like, oh, who cares? He knows, oh no. Play Mountain, yeah. Well, nothing's changed. Yep. Pretty good. No attacks. Check for traps. You have found my land. Nice. 
Okay. You can start getting in there now. With the four or five, I think. Oh my god, and then I got flooded this game. Out in class as well. Yeah, that's not good. So, now it's just awful. Why is he not attacking? That's what I want to know. So, now that's good to the point where I can almost pump it twice. If it survives, that's going to be real good. Venturing into the dungeon. Yeah, it needs to die if you can kill it. And I want to start, give it trample. Oh yeah. I don't know why he's not attacking more though. I'd be at least sending the 5-6, see what happens. You could send the 2-2, two, two. I guess not. You could send the 3-4, it's got double strike. You know what I mean? What is the f no. What are you doing? You're not gonna attack with that. He has two blockers that are already good enough. Put on the null. That way you can double bump. Make it three be a three two, a six four, a twelve eight. Trample. No. <laughs> It'd be four, a sixteen trample. Yeah, what are you doing putting on that? Another critical misplay by me. Luckily, I still have the mana to do it and pump twice next turn. Thanks to my treasure. What was he thinking about? Dragon's Fire. Pump. In response. Does not matter. Revealed a black dragon. Okay. That's pretty good. Now he gets to draw a card. Is that good enough? No. Yeah, this is not good. I think it's next game at this point. There's no attacking here. You're not swinging with the four, the five one, are you? Okay, I'm doing that because he's got four or five flyer, but then he plays. I'm making him do it, the black dragon. I have to make him do it. No attacks. Plays black dragon. Swings all. Like, I don't know why he didn't swing for like 17 turns. <laughs> Maybe I'm just super aggressive, but. Like now I have a 5 1 to kill your black dragon. I draw a hunter's mark here. 100% remember that. Uh, 3. Oh, jeez, this stinks. I could trade Goblin and Shepherd for it. Because that's five. Six, I mean. I don't know if I agree with this block, but I mean, I should just take five. I'm at 22. 
Yeah. Maybe wait for a... Uh... Now I can really get in. You can scry now. I didn't want that card, see? Hunter's Mark the 5-5. Five five. Now I can really get him. He attacks with Cloyster, Gargoyle, and Black Dragon, and Zombie Ogre, and all this. And then it's like, oh, I just have mana. Nah. And then I block the Cloyster Gargoyle and kill the Black Dragon. And then he's just left with Zombie Ogre, Gloomstalker. <laughs> yeah. It's still bad. <laughs> and all I have is a 2 2 and a 1 1. It's awful. There's no winning this. I should concede. I just don't like conceding. Let's be honest. Precipitous drop. Now you hunters mark in response and kill the 5-5. Five five. But dang. He's definitely minus 5 minus 5 because he's definitely in completed dungeon. Wait, he's just going to swing all. There's no winning this. What can I draw here? Nothing. And he makes a 1-1. One -one. What? Alright. Finally decides to level up. And then... Yeah. Does a million damage. Somehow that gets into play. I don't understand that. <laughs> you know? He could have won five turns ago, I think, if he played properly, but... Whew. That was rough. Alright, so now after that, I'm thinking... Alright. My deck is too aggressive. I don't want to go into the end game anymore. So I want to rework my deck. And fit in the, this Goblin Javelinier. And this 5-drop is just crap. Didn't do anything. He's only good at blocking. And I don't want to be blocking. I want to be attacking. That's my thought process behind this. Okay? So... I don't know if if this was right. It ended up not mattering. I never draw the Javelinier's in the next game. Spoiler. I don't know how you feel about that, but... I end up getting rid of that and the um her her gorger which I have yet to play in this deck and I've not needed them so I don't know <laughs> no you don't need both me mean, could but again you're it's not good enough with the battle cry goblin what did I take out? I don't, I don't even see. Anyway, it didn't end up mattering. And then look at this Boots of Speed. Pretty sure is the key player here. <laughs> yes, I'm very happy that I have Mountain. <laughs> I love how I'm like, this, this. Play the Boots of Speed, play Armory Veteran, play Basilisk Swing both. Uh, no, play that instead. I could really get in there next turn. Okay, let's... Maybe he doesn't pick it up. Alright, alright. Now... Okay, watch this play. I'm thinking, ooh, I'm gonna get him good. <laughs> yeah, legendary creature null. Let's play that. I'm gonna do it. Just wait, I'm gonna do it. I had no idea it was legendary. I'm debating which one I should do. Even if it isn't legendary, I should probably play the Armory Veteran. <laughs> this is kind of embarrassing, so I hope you uh, enjoy this. How does this guy get some wins all the time? He plays like this. Yeah. yeah. You and my friends both ask the same questions. Boy, was I 
good at misplaying and still winning. Uh, Jin is very nice. Well, I'm thinking like next turn, I guess. Um, oh, I'm gonna get in twice with the null, and then they're just gonna be like plus two, plus zero. It's gonna be super good. Dude, it's not how it works. I don't wanna draw a mountain here. Okay, so now I can play. You know what I can do? I can play Shepherd, put boots. Hmm, I can't do it. Can't do both. I have to play that in order to, for everything to be haste for that to get um, trample or plus one plus zero. Darn! I can still do it because it's gonna get a. Uh, it's gonna get plus one plus zero from the null. Are you sure? Here, I have a copy of this legendary creature in play. Oh, no, I would not like to do that. Thank you very much for reminding me. So just play Shepherd, switch the boots over to the Shepherd, swing all. Yeah, I don't like this play. I guess you can trade both for four mana, is what I was thinking. I was happy to make that trade. But you could also play your shepherd, put boots of speed on it, and then you know I have another creature out, and then they all attack for three. Maybe you still lose your null. Yeah, now what do you do when you swing three? Yeah, nothing's getting through with haste now. Cause you'd, you'd kinda need it. Alright, swing threes. Why? Why? Why not swing three? I don't understand this play. Keep the two two back. I think I really just didn't realize. I, I don't know. I'd rather swing three there. He should be at nine. What does that play? Or play a shepherd. Play shepherd null. It's a basilisk. Keeping the armory veteran equipped was would be so much better. <laughs> and I'm really glad I reviewed these, because I have seen tons of misplays. Tons. Like way more than normal. Usually I'm just like, yeah, just do this, I'll do that, it's fine. But jeez. I felt a bug on me. Alright. Now he's got blockers for the armory veteran. You can swing with the the basilisk still. That doesn't really do anything. I mean you can put it on his face. <sighs> yeah, I really messed up my hair right now. I saw it. What do you do here? What do you do here? You could goblin, battle cry goblin, swing all. Even equipping over the two two, so he has to double block in order to prevent three damage. He wouldn't do that anyway though. He'd probably just put it on the Yeah. Swinging there is fine. I don't hate it. And then you can play Shepherd, Battlecry Goblin. He goes to eight. It's technically at six because of improvised weaponry. No, 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 no. See, I play Battlecry Goblin there. 
Now, what if you draw a mountain? That's way good. <laughs> Tapping weird over there. What are you doing? Picking up double blue. You got counter spell? Drawing two cards. I mean literally counter spell because that's double blue. That four five that four five is doing a lot of nothing. I mean it is preventing some attacks, but a whole lot. So the null still has to be attacking for it to work, so darn. I just play Goblin here. Battle Cry Goblin. I'm probably being greedy here though. Ooh, I can play Swarming Goblin. I mean, you could swing with the Armory Veteran. He has to double block, or he takes three. And then. Play improvised weaponry, but don't like that either. Just play Battlecry Goblin. Swing off. Seventeen. Well, that seems good. I mean, this is fine too because if it hits play, then that card is just way better because the amount of goblins that are attacking. Agreed. But I don't think it's necessary. He's got two cards. Okay. Tap down. Tap down that. Okay. Good play. So now you improvise weapon. 2 1, play Battlecry Goblin, give it haste with the boots of speed, swing all, make a goblin. He blocks one of the goblins, he blocks the Battlecry Goblin, takes three. He's got a chump. Swarming Goblin, takes two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think eight because there's a third goblin. If you followed along with that, I think that's lethal. Okay, well, not anymore. Um, no. Yeah, just get in there. I suppose the um, playing of the improvised weaponry is unnecessary. Just gotta get in six damage is all. One's guaranteed to get in, so five more. That's definitely not getting in. Okay. That should block. No, that should block the two two. I mean, I guess I could pump, but oh, it's not attacking. Never mind. Why didn't I make it attack? Because it won't play improvised weaponry? That's the case. And I could have played Morningstar. No, I needed the red for that. Never mind. Yeah, this was a bad. I needed to. I need to equip there so I could have another goblin attacking. The Battlecry goblin attacking and that extra goblin. So another misplay. Yeah. 
boots of speed on the battle cry goblin so it's attacking and creating a goblin and then that goblin will get plus one plus zero doing an extra two and the battle cry goblin gets plus one plus zero doing an extra three but it would have been blocked so extra two would have got in would not have been able to draw here now you play warning star uh, boots of speed on the <laughs> goblin. You can do easily. Swing all. It's tapped out, so it doesn't do that. Blocks, blocks. The pump. I mean, he's, he's already dead with that right there. But what's another little bit of damage? Alright, so I gave him an extra turn. Well, there you have it, though. Even with all the misplays, I did. There's two games I could have maybe won. I had to play correctly. So... Still got there, though. That's all that matters, right? I appreciate you very much for watching. And hitting the subscribe button. I hope you're enjoying this because I have a lot of packs to open now. Jeez. As soon as Forgotten Realms is over and I'm done drafting it. Maybe I'll have a pack opening uh, video as well. That'd be fun. I'll do that. It's going to be like 50 plus packs at this point. But uh, I'm editing right now another one. So I mean I keep, I keep doing it. <laughs> so subscribe for more. Bye for now.